In this recording, I'm going to be bringing in multiple files. If I go to File, Open, I'm going to be bringing in the teeth, the red flower, the hat, and the donkey. Hit Open, and they're all going to come up in as tabs. So just like a browser on the internet, we have tabs. Same thing in Photoshop here. So the first one is the donkey. This is the one that everything is going to be put onto. First things first, I'm going to be going up to Filter, Liquify, and I want to give him some really crazy wide eyes. So if I scroll over, you will see one that's called the Bloat Tool. Change your brush size to about 200. You can type it in and you're going to put your cursor over top of the eyes and do a few clicks. When you're happy, you hit OK. So now we kind of have our wonkiness going on a little bit. I'm going to open up the teeth, zooming in again. So I want to make sure I'm on the plus. I'm going to make a selection around his teeth using the polygon lasso tool. Again, if it ever goes wonky, just hit escape and you can start over. And your first point and last point always have to meet when you see the little circle click and I have a selection. So on my keyboard, control C or edit copy and then I'm going to go to the donkey and control V, paste it in or edit paste. I'm going to double click on layer one and call it teeth. Using the Move tool, I'm going to move the teeth. I'm going to hit Control T to rotate it. Here's my transform box. So you can scale and rotate and move all with this tool. So I just moved it to where I'm happy. Now one thing to note is that his teeth are over his nose. I'm going to zoom in. You could use the Zoom tool or just hit Control Plus on your keyboard for a fast zoom. I'm going to turn off the teeth layer, click on the background layer because this is the layer that I want to duplicate. Going back to the polygon or lasso tool, I'm just making a selection at the bottom of his mouth here. I want to hide the teeth under this, so I'm going to duplicate this. It doesn't have to be perfect at the top. And just make sure your last point and your first point meet. Control C will copy it, Control V will paste it. I'm going to call this nose. Bring it above the teeth layer so the teeth can hide below, and there I have it. If I want to move them, I can move them around. I'm going to zoom out. Now I'm going to make his teeth a little bit wonkier, so I have to make sure I'm on the teeth layer. Filter, liquify, and instead of using the bloat, we're going to play with a different tool. I'm going to hit this forward warp tool. You can play around with your brush size. You can keep it at 200. And I'm just going to drag the teeth lower and make them look a little bit more of that buck teeth kind of style. And hit OK. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in the hat. So again, using that polygon lasso tool, I'm just going to go and bring in the hat. The more clicks you have, the softer your edges will be. And then again, first and last point meet. Once I have my selection, control C, go back onto the donkey, control V. Using my move tool, I'm going to move the hat up. I'm going to rename this as hat. I'm going to move the hat layer to the top. When you see that little line in your layers palette, you can let go and that drags it to the top. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make this hat a little bit more yellow. So image adjustments and let's pick color balance. And I'm just going to move it to the yellow. Now it looks a little bit more like a straw hat. 
let's duplicate the hat layer. So right click, duplicate. I'm, I'm going to call this hat shadow. You're going to lock this layer. Then we're going to go to edit fill and we're going to fill it with black. So now we have a black hat layer. I'm going to unlock it, drag the hat below the other hat layer. I'm going to arrow key it a few keys down, change my opacity to about 50%. And now we can zoom in and we can just blur this a little bit. If you hold your cursor down on this little eye drop, it's the blur tool. You can change your brush size. This is a blurry brush, this is a hard edge brush. And then you can just start blurring it into it so it blends a little bit better. Right now my strength is only at 50%. If I want to increase it, I can increase it. And it'll blur a little bit more. I can increase my brush size. show you a little bit more so it blurs it a little bit better and it's a little bit more natural this way. Next we're going to bring in the red flower. I'm going to use that magic wand again. Clicking on the white I have it set to a 90 tolerance. If you only had it set to something really small you will notice that it doesn't pick up all the white. So I'll set it to 90. Then I need to reverse it. Select inverse and I have my red flower selected. Control C copies it, go back to the donkey layer, Control V. I'm going to zoom out, clicking on the zoom. Now I want to move the flower. It's behind the hat, so I'm going to move it above. Rename this as flower. Control T brings up your transform box. Remember if you want it to scale in proper proportion, you have to hold shift, grab one of the four corners, any four corner will do. Then I can move it over. When I'm happy, I hit enter. I'm going to duplicate this. I'm fine to call it flower copy. Control T, scale it. I'm gonna have this one a little bit smaller. Move it over. And I'm going to change the color. And one more time. Duplicate it. Control T, transform it. Move it over to the side. This time I'm actually going to put a little bit of highlights in his eyes and in his teeth. So I want to make sure I'm on the right layers. His eyes are on the background layer. I'm going to double click this, pick a color white, select my brush tool. If I put my brush over top, we can see that it's kind of a small brush. So I can go up to the top and change my brush size. I also can change my opacity and my flow. So if you're doing a couple of clicks and you're not seeing anything, make sure that your opacity is up higher. I'm going to keep it at, let's try 80. And I'll click, add a little bit of highlight in his eyes. Now I want to do the same thing to his teeth. I'm going to zoom into his teeth. And do a couple of clicks just to give him that shiny white teeth. Zooming out. And there you go. That's how to make the wonky donkey. So give it a try.